guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sammy from Go Sammy Joe, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to take your folder icons on your MacBook Pro, your little blue folders, and create custom icons to help personalize and customize your Mac. So whenever you go to create a new folder on your Mac, a little blue folder will show up. So this is just going to show you how you can make it something else. I didn't like the look of the bright blue folder on my screen, so I really enjoyed changing them to make my custom home screen look nice and neat so that's what we're going to be going over today. I'm going to be breaking this down into a couple of different steps. I'm First I'm going to be showing you how you can do this just on your desktop and then secondly I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own icon by drawing it and really customizing it through an app called Procreate. I should have timestamps down below so you can skip to the parts that you would like to check out first. I recently made a MacBook customization video and I had this as one of my talking points but I wanted to make it into its own little tutorial to have on here um, so you guys have a place where you can go to just look up how to do it quick instead of having to go through that whole video so if you guys find this a video helpful please make sure to leave a like and a comment down below make sure to subscribe to see more videos and if you want to see more macbook customizations make sure to check out that video right here okay so let's get started okay screen recording is starting right now okay so you can see my home screen right here. Um, I think it looks pretty nice and I have a variety of pink folders right here. I actually downloaded these online on Pinterest because when I was doing my screen I was kind of lazy and I just want I still wanted folders but I wanted it to go with my theme. So I'll link where I got these here. But essentially you can change your folder to be any icon that you want. The thing is you need it to be a PNG. So what is a PNG? A PNG is basically a file without a background. You can turn anything into a PNG. We could take this photo right here of me and my fiance and cut out the background and turn it into a PNG if we really, if we really wanted to. So, um, so how do you get a PNG? So there's a couple of ways that you can do this. So first of all, if you have any experience with Photoshop or anything like that, you can always save your image as a PNG right there in Photoshop. If you don't, there's a website we can use. So where is a good place to find icons? So there's a couple of places that I recommend. You can, one, go to Pinterest and look up anything that you might possibly one as an icon so you could type in like light bulb cartoon or just light bulb in general so let's go to pinterest okay so we're going to look for our heart one next this one is quite nice i like that so let's download that image that is not a png so we can use this as an example of what we are going to do Okay, so how do we get this JPEG image into a PNG so it's just that hard? So you're just going to type in PNG Maker. And usually there's a couple of different websites that come up. I have been using this www.remove.bg. So you'll just click on it, then upload your image. And there you go, it removed the background. So we are going to then go ahead and download that image. So how do we get one of these folders to have this um, PNG file? So we're going to go ahead and close this and create file, uh, new folder. And as you can see why I create a new folder is still this kind of blue folder over here. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on the image and you're going to hit command a to select it then command c to copy it then you're going to come over to your folder control right click and then you're going to go to get info and then you are going to want to go up to this the folder in the corner and click on it and then you're going to hit command v and there it changes it to your little png and i've got a little heart right there isn't that cool and that is how you create a png for your custom icon 
folders. Now, if you're looking to do something a little more personal, you can do a couple of different things. One, you can go through Photoshop and just create your own custom thing in there by drawing or taking an image and, um, and manipulating some of the colors. Also, another thing I would recommend is checking out Procreate if you have, um, if you have an iPad, you can draw on Procreate and then save an image as a PNG and then you can go ahead and just make that image into an icon just like that. Procreate also has an, um, has an app right on your iPhone so you can also do it on there even though I find it much easier to do on your iPad. So I'm going to go ahead and start my iPad screen recording now to show you guys how to use Procreate. Okay, so the app we're going to be using today is called Procreate, this one right over uh, here, the white icon. So you're going to click on that. So um, you can go ahead and just create a new canvas, doesn't really matter the size, let's do Okay, so um, you're going to have two layers here. Um, you just want to make sure you're not on the background layer because eventually we're going to remove it to make it a PNG. So let's just do, we're going to do something simple like a little heart quick. Okay, I'll pencil. So do something like that. And there's a lot of different things you can do um, with Procreate. I'm still learning it actually. Okay, so I'm just going to do a cute little heart sketch right here. So I've got a paintbrush selected and a paint color selected. And we're just going to do something just like that. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and remove the background so it's just this heart then. So what you do is you go ahead and when you go um, to this little icon in the corner you're going to save it as a PNG you can see it right there PNG exporting save okay so right from there I'm going to just airdrop it straight to my Mac because um, and because we're going to add it to our screen okay and there it is so we are going to go ahead and click on it and you're going to go ahead and command A, command C, then we are going to come on over to here, oh actually did that wrong, we're going to control right click, get info, click on the top icon and then command V. And there you go. You can see it's my little heart sketch right there. I think that one looks really cute. So if you get Procreate, I believe it's $10 for it, but the pocket version that I think you have, you can get for your phone is free. So if you're just doing something as simple as that little heart, um, that little heart icon, it would be super simple to do. And you can get very creative with this uh, too. Okay guys, so that's how you create custom folder icons for your MacBook Pro. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to leave a like and a comment and uh, subscribe to see more videos. And if you like MacBook customizations, make sure to check out that other video that I've done recently as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!